Hey folks, folks here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video. And if you guys didn't check out my um other summoning video, part two of my Ethan summoning video, uh, spoiler alert, I got Ethan. <laughs> so, um, anyways, before we get into today's topic, which would be evolving, uh, evol I almost said evolving Ethan. Cause that, I mean, technically, well, technically it wouldn't make sense. Evolving Cyndaquil. <laughs> you guys get the point. But um, yeah, before we do that, let's do our daily summons today. Uh, since I haven't done them yet, and uh, uh, looks like we're not going to get anything here. Didn't surge. This banner hasn't been too well to me. These other two have been much better. I mean, we've got a decent amount of five stars and four stars, especially four stars. We've got like insane luck in terms of four stars on uh, on Ethan's banner, but uh, five stars kind of average. Uh, mainly, it, it just took a while to get Ethan. Like, well, you, you know, we got, again, five star rate wasn't terrible. It's just Ethan took a while. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, cool. He's 5 of 5 now. Last one, last one. Let's do one on Cynthia. And there's a week before Cynthia goes away. <laughs> and, and Lance as well. So hopefully we pull a dupe of them. If not, oh well. Not a big deal. Okay. Well, it could potentially be. Because of the new um, <laughs> Syncret system, you probably would want them at 3 dupes, right? Or, I guess, technically 2 dupes. Like, you need 2 extra, so that's like 3 total. Anyways. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and try to... Evolve Cynical then. Um, I think I have to unlock its moves first, so let's do that just in case the um, Ember or whatever the other move is, oh, Flamethrower, isn't enough to beat whatever the heck we're supposed to battle. Alright, Stoke the Fire. What the heck does this do again? Uh, oh yeah, Speed Invasiveness. Okay. And Speeding Sun. Let's get all those up and... Let's go ahead and, and do the Ethan thing then. Well, first of all, we have to do the um the sync um uh, the the day with Ethan thing. Oh, we don't have to do it. Oh, never mind. Well, let's do it anyways. Let's check out his uh, synchro story. A day with Ethan. All right. Let's see what uh, Mr. Gold is up to. I mean Ethan Gold. Same thing. One day, Post got lost while walking through the forest. Okay. Stomach growling. Uh, she kept wandering until she ran into Ethan and a hiker. Oh, hey there, Post. Fancy uh, running into you out here. Um, let's say hungry. I'm actually hungry right now. Yikes, are you okay? You must have gotten lost. Uh, give us a few minutes and we'll whip up something to eat. I just met up with my friend here. We're, uh, we were just um, just about to have a snack ourselves. Ethan and I are camping buddies, you see. He may be young, but he knows his way around the forest. A real survivalist, this one. Okay, didn't see that coming. Huh, <laughs> luckily there were a lot of mushrooms and berries near camp. Apparently it's not against the rules to pick food like this on Pasio. How swell is that? Of course, taking too much is just bad manners. Wow. Aw, oh, shucks. Anyways, uh, dig in. Um, do I have to eat them raw? A little uneasy eating like this? Alright, I'll show you my favorite cooking method, Cynical. Roasting these in ingredients on Cynical's back cooks, cooks them perfectly. Did you even ask Cynical before doing that? Come on, that's... That's low-key rude. Cyndaquil is the best partner to have around. Not only is he great in a Pokemon battle, I can also I can cook food on his back, and he lights the way when it's dark. I mean, like, dude, you're getting all, like, the food, like, grease and all that stuff on Cyndaquil's back. That's terrible. Why would you do that? All right, now let's put these on the fire. I think we're good to go. Oh, we didn't get to see it. Oh, well. I mean, it probably would have been better if we'd... We didn't actually see the um, the cooking animation. That would be kind of awkward. Mm, perfect. Thanks, Cynical. Here, try this mushroom. Chomp. Okay, whoa. <laughs> freshly picked and freshly cooked. It's good, isn't it? Let's throw some more stuff on the fire. Poor Cynical, man. Wow. Munch, munch. Oh, my. What a big mushroom. And that texture is fantastic. <laughs> um, all of these are great. We even have berries for dessert. Take as many as you want. Okay. Are we done? Is this day with Ethan just like eating stuff on Cyndaquil? Now that we're full, you said that uh, you were lost, right, Post? That's right. I can tell you how to get back. Hmm. Seems like it might get dark on the way back. Why don't we all go together? We know the way back perfectly. Besides, with Cyndaquil providing light, we should be able to navigate the forest just fine. Okay, if you say so. Uh, you just keep saving the day, don't you, buddy? As long as you have the right knowledge and friends, adventures out in the wild can be really fun. It's really rewarding to explore Pasio. Maybe we can go exploring together next time. Okay, well, got lost. 
was also Lost and Hungry, which is a bad combination to have. Lost, Hungry, and met Ethan, Cynical, cooked up some stuff. Okay, cool. 10 gems. Got that. Moving on. Honestly, I, I don't think that was a really cool sync pair story. <laughs> um, the game has much better sync pair stories than this. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's do this then. 5 out of 65. We're going to turn Cynical into Quilava. Our only one and only time we're ever going to use Cynical. Okay, before it evolves. Are you practicing golf, miss? That's really cool. Can I try too? Oh, are you interested in golf? I'd be happy to teach you. Awesome, and let's have a Pokemon battle afterward. Do we have a deal? Deal. Behold, our graceful skills and moves. Are we doing the battle first, or are we doing the uh, golf thing first? Oh, no. Okay, well, we're golf. Or not. Oh, Syncorp chance. Is Syncorp chance? <laughs> um, damn, we're going to kill it, though. We're going to kill it. Let's see if a flamethrower kills it. Okay, okay, it's still alive. Cool, 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 cool. Ah, oh, it burned, though. It, it's burned. No! I'm one attack short. I'm one attack short. No! It died! There goes the sink orb! Oh! Oh, well. Not the biggest deal in the world. Woo! Battling with you was like a refreshing breeze. Thank you. I had tons of fun, too. Now let's practice golf. Hmm? Oh? Bum, 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 Okay. Uh, looks like your partner Pokemon just caught a Tailwind. Uh, this is a sign that Cynical is ready to evolve. You're going to get even stronger? You really are the best partner, Cynical. This means we can have tons more adventures together. Okay. There we go. We're getting um, Kualava. Cool. And... There... We... Go. Quilava. Congratulations. We got Quilava. Quilava looks so weird when it's not on fire. <laughs> looks kind of weird when it's not on fire, unfortunately. Oh well. Let's uh let's 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 keep going. <laughs> Quilava to Typhlosion. So. Alright, through those. Not a big deal. Um well it used to be a big deal, not anymore, since the game's just been giving out evolution crystals like crazy. Huh, looks like your Kulava's about to turn up the heat. Huh, really? No matter the plight, even a fright, <laughs> I'll light up bright the more I fight. What am I? Jeez. Um, no matter the plight, uh, I'll light up the more I fight. What am I? A fire-type Pokemon? Right after this, the answer right after this Pokemon battle. Okay, whatever. Typhlosion? What if I get, like, two sync, uh, sync orbs in a row? Okay, okay. Thank goodness we didn't get that this time. Well, actually, you know what? If we did it this time, we probably could have gotten... Like, um, the last battle, we could have gotten that. By the way, I, I don't actually do, like, stoke the fire twice before you do anything because, like, you're not even restoring any HP. Uh, but, yeah, last time, uh, we could have gotten that if we started with flamethrower. That, you know, then two flamethrowers probably wouldn't kill it, especially if it didn't get burned. And then we could maybe get a third flamethrower. Ah, oh, third, third flamethrower might just kill it, though. I don't know. Oh, well. That was a good battle. Uh, you have a lot of potential to get even hotter. Okay. I figured out the answer. It's Typhlosion. Did you figure out the answer to Kalava? Ah, I see. Your Kalava showed the answer. <laughs> Lights up bright. The more it fights, the answer is Pokemon. Okay, well. Eh, eh. Not sure what uh, Dusclops feels about that. I don't know why I used uh, Dusclops for an example. But, uh, oh well. We should tell Blaine, thanks for helping you evolve. Well, let's have more and more battles to get stronger than ever. Well, there we go. I'm um, getting Typhlosion now. I'm a huge fan. I, I like Typhlosion. Um, Typhlosion is not my favorite Gen 2 starter, but I like Typhlosion a lot. <laughs> I still like it a lot. Um, I, I love the... the, the the pack art from, I think, Crystal Guardians. Uh, that, that Typhlosion art was really, really good. Wait, was it Crystal Guardians or was it... Um... Hmm. Let me check. Let me check. Google real quick. Crystal Guardians um, booster packs. Let me see. Let me see. Was it 
Crystal Guardians or Dragon Frontier? I th no, no, no. I think it's Dragon Frontier, not uh, not Crystal Guardians. Yeah, yeah. I don't see no Typhlosion over here. <laughs> There's Delcaddy. <laughs> There's uh, the Blaziken that I know, the Charizard one. Um, yeah, yeah. I think it's Dragon Frontier. Dragon Frontier booster pack. Um, wait, is it not Dragon Frontier either? I can't remember. But <laughs> there's a booster pack with Typhlosion on it, and that and that made me like Typhlosion like much, much more. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's uh, it's you know TCG, <laughs> uh, Pokemon TCG, obviously. So I'll there we go. I'll 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 figure <laughs> I'll figure it out afterwards. But uh, there we go. I got Typhlosion. That's pretty cool. Um, well, now that we got Typhlosion, you guys keep on asking me to do to evolve uh, Lyra, which I keep on forgetting to do. So <laughs> let's go ahead and do that. Let's evolve Lyra um into meganium it's not that uh, you know i'm stingy with the evolution crystals or whatever i, I just honestly just keep on forgetting to evolve it <laughs> so uh there we go all right uh rosa wow your bay leaf is looking great she looks uh she looks like she's gonna get even stronger i mean it's a support <laughs> these support 1v1s are like super awkward you really have to kind of have to level them up quite a bit if you want to win anything. Or, or you know, get the chance to evolve, right? Thanks, your Servine looks impressive too, uh, and full of determination. Uh, well, seeing as we're both so great, why don't we have a Pokemon battle? <laughs> okay. Um, cool, I've always wanted to battle you. Uh, I think your Bayleaf is, is going to get even stronger after this battle. Well, no, no crap. Uh, then let's get this super duper exciting show on the road. Let's, let's go then. Let's, let's get at it. I'm still trying to search, <laughs> find that pack. Um, on my computer while I'm trying, oh, while I'm trying to do this. Uh, wow. Damn, it looks huge. <laughs> Bayleaf looks huge here. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, it is Dragon Frontier, but it's a, uh, it's, it's a, it's a booster box. No, not a booster box. It's a, um, it's a theme deck. It's a theme deck. Okay, okay, well, no. There we go. That's one mystery solved. That's one mystery solved. Okay. <laughs> Are we really about to? Oh, never mind. No, we're good. No, 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 no. One more energy ball. Okay. Um, yay. And uh, forgive me trying to look for stuff on uh on Google. I should be thanking you. This battle made me feel infinite possibilities. I'm glad I'll be starting this t uh, the next time we meet, so get ready to bell me then. Look at that. Bayleaf looks like she's going to evolve. And she is. I hope you get even cuter, Bayleaf. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I like Bayleaf better than Meganium. <laughs> it, uh, it's a rare scenario, unfortunately, where I actually like the middle evolution better than, um, better than the first and third. Or, you know, stage two, if we're talking TCG terms. <laughs> But uh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I like Bayleaf better. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I don't dislike Meganium. It's definitely my least favorite of the three uh, Gen Two starters, but I do like Bayleaf still design a lot. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, well, Meganiums better stats. What can I do? <laughs> stats overlooks, unfortunately. And there we go. Well, <laughs> there we go. We got all three uh, Johto starters. At least, um, I'll find, you know, I'll evolve as well. I got three Jota stars. I'm, should I, should I do like a video? Just, you know, just a fun team with all three Jota starters. Like how would that even work? For Alligator, Ethan, and Meganium. I mean, Ethan and Meganium would work pretty well, right? Because you'd have, um, uh, it, you'll have a Meganium buffing sunny side up, uh, both crit and special attack as well. You get special attack to max for Typhlosion, also plus two on crit. And, well, you could also do that for Fralligator. Yeah, yeah you, could, you could do for either of them, honestly. So, yeah, I don't know. It would help both, but who are we really going to attack with? I, I I guess you could use you could attack with Fralligator until you run out of um, pick up the pace. So you could throw in two Mega Kicks, and then from there on, you start using Typhlosion because, you know, you don't want any more Mega Misses from Mega Kick. Anyways, um, well, let's maybe do that for another video. I don't know. Anyways, uh, that's me for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about, uh, you know, the Typhlosion evolution and stuff in the comments down below. And also tell me if you do want to see a uh, three Johto starter video, if that's 
any fun. <laughs> Anyways, again, um, like and enjoy this video, subscribe to your channel for some more Pro Masters content. I will be trying to level up uh, Typhlosion. I actually don't have enough materials at the moment, but I'll try to level him up all the way at 120, and we'll do a showcase video on Typhlosion in the near future, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in a bit then.